welcome back to the Touch Designer tutorial for the Media Art Studio. So what we are going to do for today will be some kind of slit scan exercise. So we're going to play with the idea of time or the notion of time in Touch Designer. And as usual, I will remove everything except the output window and then I will create my project folder. So let's call it play time 001. Okay, and I will also turn on the full screen and remove the border for the perform mode. Okay, so I start with using the video device in so I'm going to use the video device rather than other, other moving images so what we are going to do is try to play around with something called the slit scan so that means we are going to cut up the video into slices and then connect them together by playing with different pixels from different part time frame. So I will also flip the video with a mirror image by flipping on the X axis. So the key element of this one is we're going to put all those videos into a buffer of texture 3D and then keep it and by default it keeps 32 of your former images in the buffer actually in the GPU buffer and I'll try to extend it for example to 64 to have more smooth uh, operation and then the next one will be the key one that I connect it to the time machine and time machine actually ac uh, accept two input the first one is the input from your texture 3d and the output will be go to the output window and the second one is actually is a monochrome image that you can use it to control which particular time frame you would like to retrieve and I start with using a solid color and that is constant and to be with consistent of our window size so I use the standard and size of the window like the custom resolution 1280 by 720 and then connect it to the second input and if we compare the outputs for example like the flipped image and the output image actually they are identical and to play around with the time machine and the next step is we can explore by changing the color of this solid uh, grayscale image that is the constant and if I still turn on the flipped and also the output window and then by changing the constant color for example I pick up somewhere in the grayscale and then you can try to see the comparison of the flip image and also the output window you're going to see that there's a slight delay from the output window in, on the right hand side of the screen okay and if I change the grayscale color to completely black and then you will see the delay is a little bit more prominent in a sense that that will be the the, the oldest image that keep in the uh, texture 3d buffer and with this understanding we know that it, the, the white one actually is the latest one the black one is the oldest one and we can further customize this one in the time machine 
so that's two number one is the zero one that's the latest one will be the white offset and we can also instruct the time machine to pick up the oldest one from the minus 64 that's we are going to have 64 that will be the offset for the oldest one that is for the black one and anywhere in between we'll pick up the the subsequent frames depending on the grayscale for that one the darker the grayscale the oldest the image and the lighter one will be more current one and with this one we can start by replacing the constant with for example the RAM Oh no, this is we map. Okay, we we'll try to find the RAM from here. And again, I make it a little bit more consistent with the resolution. And at the same time, I try to use the vertical RAM instead of horizontal one to have better result. And what I'm going to do is to replay this one with the constant and then try to have a look of the comparison between the original image from the flipped and also the output so what you're going to see is something like this and so this is some kind of silly scan effect that we have slices of image for a horizontal scan line and the one actually on top is the white one will be the latest image and the one on the bottom that is the oldest one the dark image and in between will be somewhere in between that stored in the texture 3d buffer so that is the way that we can create a very simple an effect that make use of this time machine and texture 3D and for a full screen display you will have something like this so the rotation will be a little bit more uh, obvious in terms of this particular effect and of course you can also change to like horizontal uh, gradients of this kind of RAM and it will give you another type of effect but because most of the human movement in front of camera is a bit more easy to do with the horizontal movement so in this case the the horizontal or that's the, the vertical RAM will have a more obvious result in terms of the movement of the subject in front of the camera so that is the extremely simple exercise that turned out to be quite interesting or quite fun to play around with. Okay, thank you.